Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra. We've got some automotive stuff here today, and if you like automotive content, be sure to like and subscribe so you can come back and check out all my automotive reviews and videos. Now, what's happening today? Well, hopefully that car's not gonna hit me. I am right smack in the middle of Montana. I'm actually at an airport, but you wouldn't know it because it's full of cars. I'm at the Yellowstone Airport, which doesn't operate in the winter, so we don't have to worry about airplane traffic. We are worried about infinity traffic. So I'm here with infinity for a winter drive. Now, what does that mean? That means we are driving on snow and we are driving on ice. They have a whole fleet of vehicles for us from the QX60, the QX80, the QX50, QX55, um, and even there's a sports car here somewhere, the Q, the Q, that one right there. And all of these vehicles either have uh, four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Yes, even the sports car does. So um, most of these are normally front-wheel drive vehicles, but um, the sports car is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. However, in the right conditions, that automatic all-wheel drive comes on. And we really put it to the test with the help of Bridgestone winter tires. So all of these vehicles are equipped with Bridgestone tires, including some sports tires, yes. And I am freezing my, um, let's just say my toes off right here in Montana, but the scenery is gorgeous and mother nature has cooperated. So I'm gonna show you some of the experiences that we have had here today and tell you how Infinity has handled this. We arrived at the airport in near whiteout conditions, took a brief look at the fleet, and then headed inside for a quick warm-up and product briefing. QX60, in going through that vehicle, we've taken it even another step. We've got this 295 horsepower, the three and a half liter, it's award-winning engine that we had in the vehicle, the nine-speed automatic, which is really nice, because for these types of vehicles, when you're towing, you want to be able to get all that better fuel economy and the torque as you go through the different nine speeds. So the intelligent all-wheel drive. So similar in that it's going to automatically respond, but even a little bit more advanced in that it's direct. So even before it starts to sense the coupling or the slipping, excuse me, it's going to directly engage. So you won't feel any of that. It's going to directly involve and engage the other set of tires. So you're going to get extreme control. It's going to again go to that 50-50 torque split so that you have all the full control in the front and the back. But what you'll see and what's really nice about it is if you are on a hill and you're dealing with snow, you're going to immediately be able to engage. You're going to have a lot more control. You're not going to see any kind of slipping or anything like that. So it's a really nice advanced feature to give you all that confidence and control that you would want to have in conditions like this. Then they didn't send us out blind. We got a little bit of driving instruction from the professional drivers there who also coached us during the drive. Then they released us, and I jumped into a car I was already familiar with headed straight for the QX60. Let me introduce you to my driving partner. This is Dawn. Dawn, tell them your handle site. Oh. Hey, um, I'm Dawn from Sassy Auto Chick. Yes, we're, but really we're both Sassy Auto yes, Chicks. Yes, definitely. And we are getting ready to do our first test in the Infinity QX60. If you guys remember, I drove this one in much warmer weather. Yeah, it looks like we have everybody loaded up. So like I said, I'm going to load we're up in the uh, QX80 here. Wish us luck. So here's how it went. We had four different driving courses. And on each one, a professional driver would lead all of the vehicles through the course. And then we would listen to them over our walkie-talkie as they would guide us through the course. We did multiple runs so that we could improve our driving each time. First up was a simple oval track where we would have to take turns both with and without VDC just to get the feel of driving in the snow. Go Phaedra, go Phaedra. I'm not going anywhere fast till I know what they're doing to me. I hear you. Do you feel a difference? Not yet, but I will when I go around this turn. All right, oh, we got VDC off, so uh, we'll have to see some sliding out of, the, out of this group here. Okay, really? He's trying to say we won. I know. Yeah, so it's not too often you get to play these conditions. You can take advantage of it by being a little bit assertive with our inputs, with the throttle, seeing what happens. If we find the car gets out of our comfort zone, we come off the gas a little bit and get those eyes looking where you want the car to go. There you go, and it's coming toward me down here. Go full throttle, go full throttle, go full throttle, then go to a hard brake. 
the worst that's going to happen right now is we're going to lock up and we... Oh, we I, I should have done a seatbelt. I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, my seatbelt's so tight Yeah, now. wait. I'm like, chill. Here we go. Cool. Full throttle. Oh, the seatbelt is like... I know. <laughs> so we did some oval driving. Um, with and without VDC on, we kicked the anti-lock brakes on a couple times, which is good. That's what it's designed for. I don't see a condition where I would want to turn off the vehicle dynamic control, right. but it's good to know how to drive awesome if it is off. There. Now I'm putting my life in Dawn's hands. Um, pro I tip, if it's like a whiteout, sunglasses really help. Yes. Here we go. Now we're going to go full throttle. You ready, okay, Dawn? Ready? Go. Okay, here we go. Yep, go. Do it. Here we go. Winter full throttle. I'm scared. She didn't hit a cone last time, but let's see what happens. Hard okay, brakes. Hard brakes. Look right. left. Fantastic. Look left. Look left. Look go. Keep going. 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 Get out, get out of your comfort zone there. That was good. Are you out of your comfort zone? Yeah. Track? I don't remember what they call it. It's like a kidney bean shaped track. So it's just like the oval, except we are going to, we've got extra little turns in the, the center. I've done it once Heartbreak. with the um, vehicle dynamic control on. This time I'm doing it off. So we're going to do a little slipping and sliding. And go, Conditions go, 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 go. are a little bit better. Not as much of a, a white out here, but um, let's do this. You got this girl. Straight line break, look into the corner. Okay, I get it now. Straight line break. That's what I've been doing wrong. Okay, tell me, what the, what does that mean? Okay, that means make sure you are not turning your wheel at all when you hit the brake. <gasps> so I'm going to go fast, oh, right? Yes, now look, right. look, I'm straight. Go to one more lap. Hit the brake, and now I turn. And it's so much easier. Oh, I get it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I get it, I get it now. Oh, that's what we were messing up. Yep. Okay. All right, so watch it again yeah, this time. Ready? Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay. Hit it. Straight line brake, hit, hit, now right, turn. Look into the car, look back up there toward the next pass. Good right job. Here. After we mastered the kidney bean, then we went on to the figure eight, and this was a real challenge. As you can see, conditions weren't great. This is not me driving, by the way, because this, if it was me, you'd see me flying around like a boss. But we learned to make the turns, we learned to accelerate. And then the trick on this one is once we came around the final turn of the figure eight, we were required to enter into a braking box without going past the cones. All these same things happen in the dry, just at a much higher limit. We try to look ahead, look to the left, look to the left, good, good, good. Get ready and... Boom. <laughs> when it was Dawn's turn to drive, I couldn't help myself. Okay, now hit the brakes before you turn. Yep. I was a coach as well as a passenger. They're going to be like, she is not going to, we're not going to let her drive no more. But she nailed it. So we just completed the ice slalom course, the snow slalom course, and we have a bit of a cautionary tale here. Doesn't matter how good your tires are, doesn't matter how good your vehicle is, ice is slippery. Yes. And we saw that firsthand. We saw someone that swerved a little too far, went into a snowbank, which made us unable to avoid them. Yes. Even with anti lock brakes. So it happens to the best of us, but um, surprisingly, the vehicles have held up pretty well. We got right back on the course, we hit the ice very cautiously slow speed is really important and then we got on the snow slalom where we can do our thing hello we're driving on pure ice here which uh doesn't matter what kind of car you have you need good tires mm -hmm. okay car you gotta straighten that wheel out a little bit do some slalom here And then right into the braking box. Mm -hmm. I was even a little early on my braking. <laughs> Our last event of the day for the sake of time, we're going back to the figure eight and we're going to do a timed competition. What that means is 
who's got the fastest lap time? Do you think it's going to be me? Um, I think it's I think it's a possibility. I think I can do this. Now I think this is my actual footage. I think I recognize myself in the driver's seat. And I did pretty well. At one point, I was in second place overall. But my mistake is I left the VDC on, which naturally is going to slow the vehicle, obviously, because it wants to keep you from slipping. But I'm proud to say that I did a nice job of coaching Dawn when she got behind the wheel because she ended up coming in third place. I'm a proud driving partner. Hit it. Nicely done, Dawn. Okay, Keep, be patient, be patient, be patient. Now go, 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 go. Is that going Okay, watch the box. Make sure you nail it. Don't hit it. Line it up. Line it up. Go, 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 go. Nail the brakes. Nail it. Yes! And here's a professional glimpse of Dawn's award-winning run. You can't hear the sound, but there is much screaming and laughing in that vehicle. We're wrapping up the day here at the Yellowstone Airport, and here are some of my final thoughts. First of all, it's definitely better in winter to spend your time inside the vehicle as opposed to outside. It's really freezing, even though we got to spend time in that igloo back there. And caution to you, ice is really slippery. I don't know if you know that, but it doesn't matter what kind of tires, what kind of vehicle you have, you have to exercise caution when you're driving on ice because you just don't have the traction that you need. As you've seen here today, Infinity offers some really capable vehicles for winter driving. You pair that with the Bridgestone tires and this has really increased my confidence for getting on the road and driving in really any condition. Once you know the limits of your vehicle, it's much easier to push it to the limits and have a little fun. So thanks for joining me for this very snowy day in the middle of Montana. I've had fun and I hope you've enjoyed some of the winter driving content that I was able to bring you. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks guys.